Welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and today we're standing inside a 2024 Jayco Whitehawk 27 RB. This is a great travel trailer for couples or solo travelers. This thing is laid out super well. I really like a lot of the features, and it's a rear bath model with a big rear bath. I want to get started there since it's behind me and in the back of the coach. This thing is just kind of awesome in my opinion. There is so much counter space and storage back here. If you're the type of person that really needs bathroom time in the morning, this is the way to go. This has storage up high in the form of cabinetry. We have a decent sized sink, lots of counter space, a great spot for toilet paper holder. A lot of times these are on the back of a door or just in an awkward place, but this works. You're sitting on the toilet, you have easy access. On the other side of it, we have a good size shower with a glass enclosure. I love those, they clean up easy. There's a skylight up high and some storage solutions for your bottles and shampoos and whatnot. In addition to that, we have two large cabinets to the left of the shower for keeping towels and other odds and ends. I think this is a great bathroom layout and it's definitely spacious, it's certainly more spacious than a lot of travel trailers on the market today. Coming out of the bathroom, we end up in our kind of combined kitchen, living room, dining room space. This has one slide on board and it opens up in this main room to give us that space that I was just talking about. So what have we got going on here? We've got a few things. First off, this table can be ordered three ways. So we can get a U-shaped dinette or we can get a table with four chairs or in this case, we've ordered it in with a table with two chairs and a bench. So I think that's a neat option because the other option we have going on in this living room is theater seating. So we didn't order in the theater seating. We ordered in a tri-fold sofa. So that can convert into a guest bed. But what's neat about having that bench is that we could slide the chair around to the other side and with just a couple or a solo traveler on board, that gives you lots of table space to eat. And you can still kick your feet up in the end of the day and still have a guest bed available to you simply by sliding that bench out and over in front of your trifold sofa. That's kind of a cool little option instead of having recliners there. In addition to all of that, we have our kitchen on the patio side. So there's a window in the kitchen where we can look out under our awning. We can see what's going on on the patio side. If you've got your dog tied up out there or something, you're going to be able to keep track of them. We've got lots of storage in the kitchen. There's cabinets up high and down low. There's a big dual basin stainless steel sink with a high rise faucet that extends for washing out those pots and pans. They've extended the countertop by way of the glass surface on our three burner stove. And we've got our Furion oven down beneath that, a large drawer for pots and pans and a microwave up high. And then we've got a 12 volt refrigerator here. And if that wasn't enough storage, back by our bathroom, we have a large pantry. So this opens up by way of a door and there's some removable shelving in there to where you could make it a coat closet as you come through the door. Pushing on directly across from that trifold sofa we talked about earlier, we have our entertainment center. This is nice, it's a big Insignia flat screen TV. We've got storage up above and below. We've got an RV Technologies head unit here, which is Bluetooth capable. We can transfer that to our speaker system, both inside and out. And then down low, we've got a big electric fireplace that's gonna put out a lot of heat in the winter and help offset your propane cost. One thing that's neat about this living room, whether you're sitting at the sofa or at the table, we definitely have spaces to plug in devices and keep things charged up. They've given us USB ports and general plugs pretty much everywhere you sit down in this vehicle. And then that takes us into our bedroom. This place is pretty cool. So this is one more option that's available with the 27RB is that 
in the front here, we can have either a queen or a king bed. Now this one's optioned in with the king bed. The only downside to getting the king is it certainly narrows up your storage capacity just a little bit. Those closets are pretty skinny, but they've made up for that in the sense that we have more storage space in the form of a closet on the end of the bed. So this again has removable shelving to give you more hanging space and a chest of drawers down low just to add in all of your other bits and accessories. Now, if that wasn't enough storage up under the bed, we can lift it and there's storage hiding there. And they've gone in and given us two entry doors. I think that's something that a lot of people look for for safety purposes. So in addition to having an emergency exit window in the bedroom, we have a door that you could simply open up and walk out. For entertainment purposes, we have a TV mounting location right at the foot of the bed. We've got our plugs here and the backer plate is marked with a sticker. Now this is 50 amp service and we've got two ACs up on the roof and there's a solar panel up there because this is built out with a solar charge controller on board and we can monitor that right here in the bedroom. Now, before we go outside and check out some of the features there, I wanna close this thing up and let's take a look at what's accessible with the slides in. We can do that from the J Command Control Center that's right here at the entrance. You can select your whichever awning or slide you wanna move with the system and then run it in and out with a physical button. This is also a BM powered system, so this can be controlled by Bluetooth. Right here as well, we have controls for our lighting for the awning outside and the main lights here in the living room and our Furion tankless hot water heater. This is kind of a cool thing because it's gonna give us hot water on demand and we can dial that up or down, turn it on or off right here. So let's run that slide in and see what's accessible. Okay, there it is, the slides in. And I'm pretty impressed with this model because there is nothing that I can't get to in this camper with the slide closed. If you remember, there's a door into the bedroom, so getting to that with the slide closed has to happen from the outside of the vehicle. But otherwise, the entire inside is accessible. It's a little bit of a squeeze right through here, but it's not too bad. I can get to everything in my kitchen. I can get to my refrigerator. I can get to my entertainment center, including the storage within it. So that's pretty cool. And in addition to all of that, if I step this way, it's a little bit of a squeeze, but look at that. I can access my pantry too. And the bathroom, of course, super easy to get into. So at a quick pit stop, you're gonna be able to make snacks, use the bathroom, get to the bedroom, whatever you need, you don't have to run that slide out. So let's do that though. Let's run that slide back out and we're gonna step outside and check out some of the features there. On the exterior patio side of the 27RB, right at our primary entrance, you'll see that we have the Lippert Solid Step Entry System. These steps make contact with the ground and have adjustable legs for uneven terrain to give you a nice solid experience going in and out of the camper. There's a big grab handle just to aid getting in and out. And just to the left of the primary entrance, we have an outside kitchen. This is complete with a refrigerator, a griddle, and an outside shower connection with both hot and cold water. All of that is under our electric awning. The electric awning spans most of the patio side of the camper. It runs out at the touch of a button, gives us a great shaded patio space to watch some TV thanks to the fact that they've given us a pre-installed mount with both power and cable out right below it, as well as listen to music thanks to the marine grade speakers that are up on the wall. These are also connected back to that Bluetooth system, so you can change your music right there from your phone on the patio side. Up towards the front of the camper by our secondary entrance at the bedroom, 
you'll see that we have a large pass-through storage with insulated baggage doors and slam latches and magnetic catches. All of the windows are frameless, giving it a clean exterior look. And for stabilization purposes, this is equipped with electric stabilization jacks at the front and the back. The camper comes complete with both side view and backup camera prep. And at the rear of the camper, we're gonna find that we have a four inch square tube bumper. This bumper also has a full size spare attached to it. There's a ladder heading up to our fully walkable roof where you'll see our two air conditioning units as well as that solar panel that we talked about inside earlier. On the off door side at the rear of the camper, we have pretty much all of our primary connection points for shore power and city water in, as well as our black tank flush and our sewage dumps. At the very front of the camper, we find an electric tongue jack, a nice large LP container for dual tanks, and we have a molded fiberglass front cap here complete with great LED marker lights and an automotive grade windshield that lets all kinds of great light down into the bedroom. Overall, I really like the 27RB, especially for folks that may think they need extra space to sleep some guests. Because of the options that we have, we can order that U-shaped dinette, we can order that trifold sofa and have those two extra guest beds on board, or we can set it up as a straight up solo traveler couple coach with the theater seating and the dining table. I think those are just awesome options to have in a travel trailer. In addition to that, just being able to order in a king bed on the thing is great for tall people like me at six foot three. I think this is a great travel trailer to come check out for yourself in person at Southern RV of McDonough, Georgia, or you can visit us online at southernrv.com. If you have any questions, give us a call 770-477-0552, and please like, comment, subscribe, share. It really helps out our channel. Until next time, happy camping.